Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Gigi is back. Uh, sorry for the super late episode here today, but unfortunately, just that's the way the cookie crumbles when you have a rough day. Long story, long story indeed. Uh, nothing went right today at all, other than uh, I got out of bed. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was a rough day today. Had my dentist appointment at 1.15. So I did the dentist. I then drove to Costco and got myself the, the necessities. Ticky paper, um, some eggs, and some cheese for pizzas and stuff. Uh, then I went to Walmart. Uh, I went and got uh, some pizza sauce, some pepperonis, uh, some corn dogs, milk, you know, hot chocolate, that type stuff. Then when I was leaving out of the Walmart, now this is a massive strip mall complex type thing. It's got a roundabout in it. And the roundabout is on an incline as you're trying to exit. So I come out, I pull out, I go to do my one little, you know, making a right hand, you know, into the roundabout, and then the next, take the next right hand out. Well, all of a sudden, this little red Corolla car comes at me. <laughs> like, what the hell? Right? Like, okay, so I, you know, whip over hard to the right. I mean, roundabouts are only a one way. Right, but no, she was coming, she's coming right at me. So I ended up driving into a snowbank. She ends up going, just barely misses me. I mean, just barely misses me. Side swipes a Ford F1 or F150 pickup behind me, and then punches into a front end of a black Lexus, and then proceeds to go straight into a light post. Her car total. So. Two hours later, the cops finally show up because there's just accidents all over the city today. We had 10 inches or 10 centimeters of snow. Not that much snow, but because it melted yesterday and then froze over and then started snowing on top of that, the roads are just icy slick. So uh, they ended up having to put the, the Lexus on a flat deck. They ended up putting the Ford on a, lap, on a flat deck. And as they were trying to drag the Ford up, onto the flat deck, it slid on the road and just bumped my front fender on the driver's side. Thankfully, minor, minor, minor damage. You can just barely see the dent. Uh, I mean, it was a little tiny scratch in it. Woo hoo hoo hoo. I'm just glad, you know, nobody was hurt type deal, right? But yeah, then they had to pull me out and I get, I get $75. I had to pay 75 bucks to, for me to get pulled out, out of it because the lady has no insurance. <laughs> She doesn't even have a driver's license. She decided to borrow her friend's car because she's visiting from another country. This is the second time now I've been hit by somebody who's foreign. Why? You, 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 there's no... In Malaysia, as far as I know, there is no snow. Why would you borrow a friend's car in this type of weather? Especially when you don't know how to drive around a roundabout. And yeah, apparently, yeah, so... She ended up, yeah, she ended up getting charged with a ton of violations. Um, it, it's just brutal. I'm not even going to bother trying to you know, take care of the owners, uh, go through their insurance or anything else for the $75 for it. It's just, what a pain in the arse. So let's just kick back, relax, unwind, and play some video games. I've had two corn dogs. I'm doing better in the food. <laughs> I, I, I've eaten. I'm happy. So let's let's do it. Let's jump into the game, shall we? All right, you guys will have to let me know how the sounds are and everything else. So, now just to let everybody know, I did kind of do a little something something in between episodes. I made a ton of rockets. I made a ton, and oh my god, uh, hold on, I gotta uh, options, I need controls, I need to increase my mouse sensitivity here is yeah yeah i got a new well i can't say it's new this is my uh here's my old mouse it don't work anymore she finally completely she died she actually she literally burnt up on the inside um so yeah my gaming mouse is no longer no more i'm having to use a rackety old microsoft one that i've used for many years for um whenever i uh, when I clean up my computer and everything else, because the other one is being wireless, you gotta the dongle don't take if you uh, until you put the software in it. So yeah, I'm using this one. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. But today, what I want to do, ooh, I wanted to show you folks this. I went and plastered up a bunch of these um, showcase showcase displays. 
So we got, I'm hoping we get a couple more flying insects. Um, maybe uh, when amphibians come in in the next update, we'll have some more there. But as you can see, we have 18 butterflies that need a butterfly farm. So in order to do that, let's, uh, oh, wrong, wrong button, here we go. Butterfly farms, tier two, finally got those unlocked. So we're gonna need a lot. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I can make seven at a time, all right. Easy enough. Oh man. Okay, let's just increase that sensitivity some more. There we go. Uh, fabrique. All right. So I'm going to need 14 of here. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is so slow in comparison to the old mouse. Uh, I need one more. There we go. I got 14 of those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Uh, what's the make and model of my old mouse? Oh, you know, it's, um, it's a G. Magnifying glass. Yeah, G602. It's a beautiful mouse indeed. This is actually my second one. This is the second time I burnt them up. Um, I've been using these now for about 10 years. They're absolutely amazing. How you doing, Jack? How you doing? And I'm doing all right, Lori. I am fine. I did not get hurt or injured or anything in the accident. Nobody was injured. Um, the lady in the Lexus, though, she was having a bit of a mental breakdown, though. She was just crying and everything else. She's only had that car for three months. And big old sob story. The guy in the white uh, Ford pickup, he was just like, you know, lady, you know, it's just a car. You know, it's just a car. You know, are, you know, you're fine. Her, her airbag did go off. I think she was just more scared of everything that happened there. Spanky, insect rockets and beehives make your stats go brr. Good day. How are you doing, Spanky? As you heard about your government's new plan to import 500, what? We're going to import 500,000 cattle this year? Well, I hope they are of the Wagyu um, uh, genetics. That's for sure. <laughs> I, I mean... If we're going to bring in that many, I hope that they're absolutely delicious. All right, so we need seven of these as well. Oh, uh, seven, not eight. And then I think it was zeolite, wasn't it? Oh, man, my brain's not working here. Zeolite. So, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a day. Um, at the dentist, I, <laughs> my poor dentist, we went to put in... Um, so, I remember how I'd gotten that uh, TMJ splint, right? The templar modular, tempo modular, mandular joint um, issue that I got with the electric buzzing in my ear so they you know got me a splint so I you know I had the splint for three days and I, I literally bit through <laughs> the old splint <laughs> so uh, I went to go pick up the new one today and it did not fit in the slightest it was way off um, so yeah that was the start start of everything yeah, like I said, Costco, Walmart, everything went good when I was shopping. It was great. There was hardly anybody there because the roads were such trash. So now I have to go back. I have to go back on... Hold on. Uh, November 9th. Oh, hold on. Today's the second, so I got to go back in a week. This one's a later one, 5.15, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, tomorrow I have to go. Don't forget, folks, I have uh, tomorrow I have that uh, neurologist appointment that I have to go to. So, uh, stream, uh, shouldn't be interfered with. Shouldn't, should not. I really hope it's not. But, uh, yeah, I gotta go, uh, do the neurologist and I'll find out more what's going on. So, um, I might be upwards of, like, say, maybe an hour later than my usual 1.15, 3.15 Eastern Standard Time start. Just all depends on, uh, how the roads and traffic are tomorrow. So, I'm glad that my truck didn't get damaged because, yeah, I really need to go go to this appointment how's captain caveman captain caveman is doing really good i talked to him on facetime on halloween night he ended up uh you know those reusable shopping bags oh thank you bud thank you ladies and gentlemen samantha how are you long time no see i hope your puppies are doing well um everybody give bud some love show him some love with the, your favoriteest emoji just keep it clean no poop emojis you know what i mean and for all you major uh, amazing channel members drop down the gargoyle heart yeah. show the love show the love Ah, thank you very much there, bud. Greatly appreciated, so. Huh, it's been a day. It's been quite a day, I tell you. There we go. There's the accolades that he deserves. Just popped up there. Boy, it takes forever. Um, hopefully, hopefully as well there, folks. Uh, other good news is that uh, Bone has got the trailer out for 
the A Walk With Ghost Seasons 2. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, I should have the bot should be arriving in channel here pretty soon and should have the link hooked up for you for that as well. So yeah, if you haven't already, go check that out. I'm a part of it. I will not lie. I'm probably the worst voice actor that's in there, but I still love it. <laughs> Oop, wrong one, this one. So yeah, definitely go check that out, folks. It is awesome. Um, Bone's done a ton of hard work in there. Um, he's working with uh, a bunch of us uh, voice actors who really don't have that much experience in it. And the quality of product is amazing. I have happened to have heard the whole thing so far, but uh, I can't wait. I, I just cannot wait for all the season uh, to come out in the episodes here for you, folks. But yeah, no, I hope you're... Um, Captain Caveman had two costumes this year. He had, well, no, wait a minute, three costumes this year. My bad. So he had his birthday party on the Sunday just before uh, the uh, Halloween. So he was dressed up as a glow-in-the-dark neon green skeleton. And on Monday, when he went to school, he was dressed up as Raymond from Raven Rabbits. I don't know where he gets his love for video games from. No idea. Oh. <laughs> so he was dressed up like uh, like Raymond. Then on when he went out for his actual trick-or-treating, he dressed up as a pirate. So yeah, he had quite a few costumes to wear and he just loves it. He's like me. Uh, I, I mean, I love... You guys have seen me wear you know anything from pink wigs all the way down to uh, wearing... Uh, what else have I worn? Uh, pink wigs. I've worn... Ah, I've worn my Halloween costumes. I did the old man. That was about three, four years ago for that. Uh, what else have I worn? Um... Oh, come on. Get rid of that. Uh, oh, yeah, and my, uh, construction costumes. I've worn those many times, too, so... Yeah, you folks have seen them all. I, I, I quite enjoy it, and so, um... Kiddo. Yeah, he, he's definitely his dad's son when it comes to that. Ah, oh, come on. Get rid of all these things, would you? These bloody uh, maggots keep getting in my way. Come on. There we go. Now, how many more do I need? One, two, three, four more. I watched some of your old videos of Planet Craft. I forgot where to find Super Alloy, so I made them myself all the time. Oh, no! No, 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 no. There's a couple areas. There's... Uh, this cave here. Whoa, all right. Want to drive in? All right. So we got this cave here. This is the cave that uh, has the uh, the doors. So this is where a good spot to uh, get some at the beginning. And then... Do, 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 do. Over here... Up around the... Uh, that lifted mountain range in the center, just to the left of that white ship over there. That is where the rest of them are. <laughs> Steel toed sandals. <laughs> well, that's <is> awesome. <clears throat> um, Hera passed away. Sam. Uh, yep, she uh, she passed away of old age. She passed away in my arms. Yep. Nope. So long story short, uh, she went, got up, had a drink, and then she started staggering. I picked her up, and she just gave me a little lick on her arm, and I could feel that her heart rate, her heart rate was very, very low and super weak, and she just put her head down into my elbow and passed away. So, nope, she had a wonderful 15 years. She reached uh, 15 years, which is absolutely amazing for French Bulldogs. So, yeah, uh, you know, I, I handled it very well. I thought that I was going to be really messed up from it and just because of the way that it happened, because I didn't have to make the decision for her final day at the vet or anything like that. Um, it was okay. I'm, I, the process of grieving for me went really quickly. Don't get me wrong. I still miss her. I say goodnight to her every night and I probably will for many, many years. Uh, just the way I am, you know, so I miss my animals. So, but yeah, so yeah, no, she passed in a very, uh, in, in a, in a healthy manner for those and so I'm very happy to say that uh, you know she had a wonderful life and uh, I was glad to be a part of that life with her 
All right. I think that's it. I think that's all it can fit. No, I can't fit all the uh, the bugs in here. So what we'll do, we'll just come over here and we'll do this first. Uh, waterfalls. You lose. The, yeah, I wouldn't doubt you would have to use a lot of the aluminum to make the uh, super alloy. Because you were making the actual alloy nuggets first, and then you were making the uh, alloy rods afterwards. So yeah, you'd be you'd be having to make a, a few of those. We would have to be using quite a few of those aluminum aluminums. Aluminiums, depending on where you are in the world. I can say both. I'm Canadian. We have uh, both English and uh, uh, American heritage. Now, I don't know why. These are all extra spaced apart, but yeah, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We'll just put this next one right here in the center. All right, let's go grab those butterflies. There we go. Streamlabs finally joined the stream. As you can see there, that is the link. Copy and paste it and uh, get yourself up another window if you can, if you're unless you're on mobile. But uh, that is the link for the trailer. Well done, Bone. Well done, indeed. Looking forward to uh, hearing everybody's thoughts on uh, on Season 2. Because I love it. I'm very proud to be part of that project, for sure. Very proud of Bone. Man, that guy's good. He knows what he's doing. Definitely knows what he's doing. In comparison to me, yeah. 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 I, I'm a logical thinker. Uh, Bone, he's got all the creativity like you wouldn't believe. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, but we get uh, some really good lobsters up here. All right, so let's take a look here and see which one's the best one. So somebody said if I go clickety, 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 that they'll go in order, but they're not in order. Yeah, see, they're just not in order. Yeah, hmm. All right, well, this one needs the... Oh, these take two each. Oh? Uh, I was not aware of that, Shaggy. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll have to uh, come back and add more later, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. What did I just put in there? You're not 120% You are. Okay. So what's after that? To be a thousand, right? Then where's that big pink one? Right here. That's 800. Yep, okay, that's the next one. Lean, how are you doing? Boy, you're up late too. Boy, a lot of night owls over in your areas of the world. Mind you, I'm the same way, but uh, I've been doing the, uh, the two nap thing lately. Oh, why am I putting in the wrong ones? Rain, come on. Work with me here today, please. It was just a minor incident. I mean, I didn't get hit. <laughs> I was able to drive away from that. Where the other two people, the other three cars, were not able to drive away today. I was not injured in the slightest. I saw her coming. I went for the ditch. The guy that was behind me just kind of hit his brakes. <laughs> and he just slid and then just got sideswiped. And the lady that was in behind... She was trying to hit her brakes. She was sliding and ended up getting uh, front end of. What is this sleepy speak up? Yeah, not very much. Oh, three night shifts. Oh, that makes sense. Then, well, at least I'm keeping you up. Oh, strange brew. Oh, dude, I have never seen that. I have never seen that one. So it looks like six hundo is the next one. So I'll put. Oh, no, no, that was five hundred. Come on. Six hundred. Six hundred. These two are six hundreds. Okay. Yep. Now I need the 500. Three hundred. Three hundred's the winner. All right. Yeah. Oh, it was rather, rather an interesting day today. I'm glad that uh, it's over. I'm glad that I'm able to hang out with you folks. I, I will say this though. I, I went out and bought a pack of smokes. I can't tell a lie. I bought a pack of smokes. Just stressed out <laughs> after all the crap. It was like, yeah, no, what? 
What? What is going on here? Did I not build 18 of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I have 9. What is going on? Did I miss one? You got one in here? You got one in here? You got one? Ah, I missed one right here. Dang it. All right. Uh. Seven hundred. Missed one over here too. Okay. All right. We're just going to grab them all again. Restart. Restart. Redo. Brain is uh, apparently not functioning all that well today. <laughs> <laughs> got a little rattled uploading triple odd buck shells got to get ready for the riots after the u.s midterms <laughs> when are those happening pretty quick aren't they like <coughs> excuse me in the next like couple days or something like that aren't they uh, unfortunately I, i'm canadian so i just i don't have any knowledge of when those are going on all right there we go okay so this one's got some this one's got some, so 800. And I think it was 700 was the next one. Right? Yeah, 700. 600. 600. 600. 500, 300, 250, 230, okay. Or 250, 230. Alright, what's the next highest one? 175. Nope, I got a 200. 200. 175. 175. 175. And two 120s. Alright. All right, I didn't know that these were going to be uh, be doubles, but there we go. We now have ourselves a bit of a butterfly farm now. So we'll have to get those all magically topped up. But look at that. Look at our TI rating just flying. Weird. On the 8th? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, Lean. No idea. No idea at all. Uh, but I know YouTube's made, like, on my mobile phone, it, it keeps resetting itself. Like, all my settings and everything else, I gotta go back in there, I gotta turn on the dark theme, I gotta change all the autoplay stuff. Uh, hold on a second here. You don't need to see me licking my spoon for my hot chocolate. I do not like a hot chocolate that has all the hot chocolate settled at the bottom. I don't know why, but lately, they've been getting really, really bad for it. Settling out really quick. A Discord pick. Oh, oh boy. All right, hold on. Let's go over there and take a look. Council room. Council room. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Nikki. <laughs> yeah, that'll take care of some business. That'll definitely take care of uh, your trick or treaters, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, it is horrible. Now they have this ambiance setting. Oh my god, just... What is wrong with kids today? Like, okay, kids to me is anybody under the age of 30. But all these people at Google, first they screw up our homepages on our channels, like our, our like my channel homepage. You go there, it's absolutely atrocious now. Before you used to have uploads. Now you have to have your uploads and your streams separated. So anybody who's just a streamer is screwed. It looks like they have a blank page when you first go there, unless you click the live tab. Like, are these guys just mentally retarded? Then they decide that, oh, we're going to be just like Apple. We're going to change the, uh, the thumbnail so they're rounded. 
So much for my comic looking idea with the 3D borders and all that. That's out the window. Then they add the ambience uh, to the videos. Like, they're just snowflakes who's like, I gotta make an impact in this world or my life is meaningless. Like, what are people teaching these children? Uh, um, I, I don't understand. I, I, I kind of want to pull my kid out from school and like, that's enough of this stuff. But here we go. As Spanky mentioned, let's go let off some insectoid rockets. Do, 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 do. Yeah. You only have yeah now yeah some uh, I think it was uh, Deuce mentioned that on the the weekend live stream that now they have the uh, pretty much everybody gets the uh, community tab now and it's like okay Woo. I love it I love it but boy oh boy does that ever tank my frames with all these bees over here Woo. that really tanks it. Oh, it works. It works. It is so subtle and so crappy that they shouldn't have done it in the first place. Like I said, it's these snowflakes who just seem to think that, you know, their place in this world has no meaning unless they make a change. Ah, crap. Game crashed. Hold on. <laughs> Cancel. All right. Hold on. Gotta let that stupid Steam thing work. Uh, and lines of them into corners of the map you didn't go to. Yeah, I think I might have to do something like that too. Yep. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at that. Now my glass of hot chocolate is uh, now black. Oh, boy, oh, boy, boy. Come on, game. You can work. You made one of the smaller farm areas? Gotcha. Um, I kind of sort of did the same. Um, I'll show you here what I did with mine. Let's just see how far back we got locked. Um, oh, fingers crossed that we didn't get uh, too far back. Yeah, so the ambiance thing is, is now you have to go into every video and you gotta go into your gear settings and you gotta click it off in order for it to work. Not kidding ya. Now, uh, hold on, did we... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we're all the way back here again, folks. All the way back here. Why? Because, well... The way it is... It's the way it is. All right, I'll be doing a ton of saving and stuff here after we get this done. All right, these look all empty. Okay. Whee. All right, so this is the 800. Now I need my 700 over here. Hi. Yeah, so many of these companies lately are hiring the wrong people. If I ever have somebody who comes into if I'm a business that I may own, which probably never going to happen now with uh, my disability. Um, but if I were to ever own a business and I would have somebody who's like, oh, I need to make an impact on this world. I'll be like, I'll make an impact on you right now. I'm going to slam the door against your ass as you're going out because I don't want to put up with your crap. <laughs> you are a snowflake and snowflakes have no place in a business with me. You will do what you are told to do. <laughs> Go ahead and start your own damn business if this is what you uh, want things to be like. Go ahead. I have no problem if you want to do that and run your business your way. But, uh, yeah. It has been getting really bad lately. Really bad. And I don't know how or why these larger companies are putting up with this crap. Like, universities are just horrible. Absolutely horrible. So up the front tires around the lawn tractor, so plow tractor other than gas is ready for the snow. Nice. Nice. <laughs> World rough, you should wear a helmet. Um, no, I'm not into physical violence, really, honestly. I mean, I did wrestling for, like, just under a decade. No, it was more than a decade. Yeah. 
Yeah, about 13, 23. Yeah, yeah, it was a decade. So 10 years worth of wrestling. I got my violence out. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to worry about that stuff anymore. Um, what I do have to worry about, though, is uh, just basically living every day today now. You know, I, I just, I, I just won't put up with those type of people. Like, yeah, okay, see ya. Get out of my face. So this is what I did here. I put in the uh, regular honey farm was on this side. And then the tier 2 honey farms with the, the bee larvae, I put on this side. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can crash this game again. Yeah, now, I, I do have a, um, a sweeper machine that I could use, but uh, after doing all the groceries and everything else there today... I decided it was probably in my best interest just to use uh, one of the shovels and just get rid of the snow in the front yard. I'll take care of the, the snow in that in the backyard with the sweeper tomorrow if the wind isn't as bad as it is today because it was severely blown in my face and everything else. What is wrong with this rocket? Go bye bye. <laughs> yeah, act stupid, get treated stupid. Well, and you know. I have no control over what YouTube does. I have to play nice within their, their their parameters and everything, right? So it sucks. I mean, I don't wish physical violence on anybody because I don't really, you know, they have to go up against me. They're very, you know, unprepared and they're going to get hurt. <laughs> I'll be fine. They won't be. <laughs> So I don't wish physical violence on anybody. I, I mean, you know, I have one very good reason for not going to jail for any reason whatsoever. <laughs> Prison rape. I've got long hair. <laughs> There's a lot more bigger bubbas out there than me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no. I, I prefer to keep myself out of the jails. <laughs> you know, so... Uh, I just... I just shake my head and just... I hope to God that something happens that, you know, they poison themselves with Tide Pods or something. You know what I mean? Like, just... I don't want them breathing my air. <laughs> uh, so one of my friends made a good point the other day. He was like, yeah, dude. He's like, I was watching one of your videos and you were talking about the climate crisis and everything else. He's like... I totally agree with you. It's only a crisis because we humans are idiots and we built along all the shorelines and everything. He's like, no matter what, the climate is going to change. He's like, first it was global warming. And then when we proved that it's not global warming, it's 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 just the climate is changing. Just part of the Milankovitch cycles, how our tilt of our planet is, how our epithelium is in the... Uh, in the, uh, the orbit around the sun and everything else, like... Quite honestly, right now, if we weren't pushing out the CO2 that we are, we'd be heading towards an ice age. <laughs> we would be having another little ice age area because we would have way too much oxygen in the atmosphere. So we wouldn't have the greenery, the plants and everything else. Yeah. So, yeah. I was like, yeah, well, I'm glad that I'm not the only one that's out there doing his own homework. But then again, I took environmental sciences and that. So I have an interest in it. You know, and this was before, you know, the whole rigmarole with the National Oceanographic uh, Association there. Uh, no, National Ocean and Atmospheric Association. Um, these guys are deleting their, their, their uh, old graphs and everything else. If you look at the graphs that they have now, they're using the trees that uh, can only tolerate a little bit of CO2. I mean... It's like going out there and saying like, well, yeah, look at all these, you know, plants that are out there that, you know, can't take all this CO2 and everything else. It's like, yeah, you know what we call those plants? Weeds. Any of the food production plants that we use that we live off of <laughs> need CO2. <laughs> Large amounts of it. You know, if we didn't have as much CO2 in the atmosphere as we do now, if we had, you know, uh, uh, so I was mistaken. I thought it was 126 parts per million. It's 150 parts per million of oxygen. Uh, or sorry, of uh, CO2. If we go below 150 parts per million of oxygen, that's all we can grow. We'll only be able to grow weeds. There will be no food available. And if you take a look at how many gigatons that the oceans pull in every year, like, it's just, it's, uh, 
it's only a crisis because we were too stupid not to um well we seem to think as humans that we can change our climate around enough that you know we can you know fix our stupid mistakes for <laughs> for building right on ocean edges i mean yeah no matter what folks those places are going to disappear eventually it's going to happen if, what is it? If we lose all the ice in the entire world, something like that, we're going to go up like 30 meters? No, I only had uh, the one dog. I've had several dogs in my lifetime, um, but the one that I had from the point where, you know, I you know left from home, she was my baby from day one till, till 15 years later, till her death, was just the one. Um, my ex-wife had a cat that we had for 18 years. She passed away, but she ended up uh, getting a brain tumor that was really bad that was causing a bunch of issues with her and everything at the age of 18, which is known to happen for Maine Coon cats. So we unfortunately had to make the decision, and I hate making that decision, folks. I really do. I would much rather it happen just the way it did with Hera, that she goes naturally. But, uh, yep. Yeah, no, exactly, Lee. You know, Needlelanders would have themselves a bit of a, a bit of an issue. They would be swimming. That's what, 90 feet, I think? But you take a look at all these, uh, you take a look at all these doomsayers, all their videos and everything else that are out there going, oh, what happens if we reach 120 feet of water lift? And it's like, well, that's not going to happen. Well, I think the maximum we can get is like 106 feet, you know? It's, you know, unfortunately, you know, Venice is going to go the way of the bye-byes. It's just the way it is. I mean, Earth has been a snowball at least twice. At least twice. In the last, you know, couple hundred million years or whatever it is. So, how as we as humans think that we can control and prevent all this stuff is just pure, pure arrogance. Arrogance and stupidity. The climate's going to change. We need to move with it. <laughs> you know, as the ebb and flow of things go, we need to work with it. We can't, we can't brute force it to do what we want it to do. <laughs> oh, it's sad. It is very sad, but it is such the truth. Um, well, all right, well, okay. So the last major ice age ended about 12,000 years ago. Um... We did have the mini ice age, which lasted from like the 1300s to the mid 1800s. I mean, it's the way it is. You know what I mean? Like, you know, this is the way the climate is. And if you take a look, oh my God, if you look at the hockey stick graph, oh, I want to take whoever came up with that because they made numbers lie. They absolutely made the numbers lie to make it look like, oh my God, look at, look, look what's going on here with the planet. It's got this giant hockey graph. It's like, yeah, but if you take a look at the dip before we went into the little ice age and how we came up out of the ice age, that was a higher curve of exponential heat growth coming out of the little ice age than what we're experiencing right now over the last 30 years. But that's not what they're telling everybody. It's all got to be all gloom and doom and oh, hell hath no fury. You know, like, oh, Jesus Christ. Please, please. Yeah, and don't take my word for it. Go educate yourselves and everything else into it, you know? Just don't listen to any books that have been written from 2000 and fo forward because they're all full of bogus misinformation. It's like, I have 11 fingers, folks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, plus 5 is 11. Numbers lie. If you know how to make numbers lie, then you know you're ahead of the game you know if you can only go well i got five and five it's ten you know and you know it's i only have ten there's no way i have eleven it's like no you can numbers lie it's, almost all statistics are already skewed just by saying that this is the graph that i want i want to have global temperature okay well how am i going to measure that okay well i'm going to measure it with this variable this variable and this variable well you're deleting out 300 other variables that are part and parcel of it. It's just... <laughs> and because I tell you folks that, yeah, you know, go out and educate yourselves, you don't have to listen to me, I don't have to worry about YouTube going up and slapping up, uh, you know, uh, an algorithmic spanking. So, you know, it's like, oh, you're giving misinformation. It's like, no, I'm telling people to go out there and take a look for themselves, too, at the same time. You know, I'm not telling this is... You know. <laughs> Grr. They don't like it when you do that stuff, by the way. They, they really don't like it at all. They don't like it when you know how to bend their rules and they can't penalize you for it. 
Overpopulation? What are you talking about, Lean? We are living in the greatest of all human recorded history. Definitely. No, we're not overpopulated at all. We are just stupid on how to uh, transport it around. We throw out more food. Like, we waste more food than what we have for population. Like, we waste more food than what we have for population. Like, that's... It's sickening. It's absolutely disgusting and sickening. No, we are not overpopulated. We are, we'll probably reach up to about 11, 11 and a half billion people. And then it's going to just slowly go down. We'll probably, we'll probably average out to about 9 billion people on this world. And yeah, we can feed them all. It's, we are not overpopulated. Not at all. That's another big misconception that's out there. Um... Gee, I wish I could remember the name of the professor that uh, I watched. Um, look for a video call. Oh, what was the video he did? Like, Don't Panic, I think it was called. Something about the world's population. Yeah, Don't Panic um, is the main part of the headline for the video and uh, for what he did. And yeah, no, it's oh, not at all. We are not overpopulated in the slightest. We live in cities and everything else because it's easier to control us the governments make it harder for you live spaced apart it's got nothing to do with you know it's us not giving the middle finger to the government saying no i want to live farther outside away from people it's got nothing to do with population we have tons of space on this planet let I me mean, look here in canada Wow, have we got a ton of room. But where does the majority of the population live? Right next door to each other? To the point where it's like you open up your bathroom window and you can shake your neighbor's hand while he's taking a crap too. Do I plan on getting another pet? Not yet, Sam. Not yet. Not for a while. Uh, if I do get another pet, it probably will be another French Bulldog. But they, as a minimum, cost around $3,500 Canadian. So about three, three grand American. I, I don't have that money. I only get $745 a month on my disability. That's it. By the time you take out my debt that my ex-wife gave me, um, I pay my phone bill, my internet, uh, the, uh, the, the tools that I need to do YouTube. Um, I'm only left with approximately $210 a month for groceries. So trying to get another dog at $3,500, it's not going to happen anytime soon. And that's okay too. I still need time to, to live without again, you know what I mean? It would be a dishonor to her memory if I were to start jumping in and getting another pet right away, as far as I would think. And that's, well, that's the thing. It is normal in the cycle that we're at. Now, yes, carbon dioxide heats up the lower portion of the atmosphere. Yes, it does heat up where our living space is. But as you move up in the atmospheres, it doesn't heat up like everybody thinks. Like our oceans aren't going to boil off. Um, we are going to have more algae blooms and everything else, but this is all documented that's happened in the past. You know, before the last ice age. I mean, there was a point when there was like 6,000 parts per million of carbon dioxide up in the air when the dinosaurs were kicking around. But that didn't wipe out life, did it? There was dinosaurs kicking around. <laughs> Seven times 13 equals 28. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Who's on first? Who's on second? Oh man, I love Abbott and Costello for that. Oh, those were good shows back in those days. That's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, we'll just keep going. Let's let's make this a rocket launch day. So cobalt, super alloys, silicone, super alloys. Why not? Let's see what we got here. Let's see how fast we can get that TTI to to exponentially grow. Whee! Let's see what do we got so far for rockets. All right, so we got 30 insects, 30 planets, 30 magnetic, 30 asteroids, and 30 seeds going on. I wonder which ones I could bounce up to about 100. Hmm. Hmm. I know there's one that needs Lerma, and we can't get any more Lerma plants. I think that's the plants rocket. I don't see why we can't get 100 of everything else over time. So I might do that. I think we'll make this the last episode of Planet Crafter for a while until the next update comes out. But I'll keep coming in and I'll start ripping up some rockets. Uh, try to get... Uh, I'm trying to make it up for like 100 rockets each. That way we can see how fast that terraforming index just flies. 
you don't miss the winter there oh man yeah i'm just getting it right now i would show you guys what it looks like outside but it's uh it's nasty but i will say this though i've had uh, we've actually had spring and falls um normally we get about eh, you know one week of spring and then it goes into summer temperatures and you know get one week of fall and goes into winter we actually now getting about a month of spring and a month of fall right now oh yeah 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 meanwhile there's this giant huge gash that runs right across mars it's not like you can't see it with a telescope with a decent telescope anyway but no it had to have been you know the co2 that caused the extinction of everything that was on that planet like come on what oh, you guys hear about the meteorite that just hit mars that is awesome so in one of the hottest zones of mars meteorite comes down smack and there is ice chunks coming out of the crater there's ice chunks coming out of that crater so yeah mars at one point in time had a lot of water on it uh, our first snow bud was seven inches and then that melted down we had about an inch of that left and then we ended up getting this which is about another eh, say four inches 10 centimeters so about four inches so yeah it's uh it's uh, just the way it is welcome to uh welcome to the uh the seasons <laughs> enjoy the cold folks ah oh, crap how many of these do we need per is it two or three Whee! hold on i'm gonna write these down hold on hold on, hold on. opened it up all right Ten. Ten. All right, so let's do the first one here. Uh, heat. Heat. Uranium. Two. Alloy. Three. Cobalt. Okay. Next one. Pressure. Iridium. Two alloy, three silicone. Okay. Next one. Plants. Plants. Yeah, it gives us plants. Okay. Two alloy, one furt, one. Oh, one lerma. Okay, that's the one we can't do. And one tree bark. Okay. Next one is. Uh, hey, I'm Kim. How are you doing today? How are you? Next one is seeds. That gives us oxygen. Oh, two. We need two alloys. One bacteria. One mutagen. One tree bark. Okay. And then don't need that because we got it, got it, got it, got it. You don't want to make more of those. Ah, this one here, insect. All right, so insects. That gives us insects. Need three bees. One T2 mutagen. One osmium rod. And they all need rockets. So, all right, we're good. Um, mom, what are you doing? Oh, it's not mom. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Jack, thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and give a round of love and uh, applause to Jack for coming in and uh, dropping down a dono in the uh, PayPal. So thank you very much, Jack. Uh, yeah, everybody, use your favorite emotes. Show some love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, he personally bagged 17 T-Rex uh, T Rexes last week. Man, have you ever had the T-Rex steak? It is like, uh, well, it's just a, a giant porterhouse. Just like, it's a T-bone steak. That's got a larger part of the tenderloin on it. And that's why they call it the porterhouse. But it's like almost two inches thick. And my God, they call it the T-Rex um, steak. It is so good. But I cannot finish the salad and the potato. The, the triple stuff. Or no. Twice stuffed and baked potato. Yeah. And it comes with it. It's just so big. Just, oh, I can't eat all that. I can't do it. It's just too much for this belly. But it is so good.
It is just so dang good. I love it. Ah, oh, thank you, bud. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, man. I love playing video games. This is my mental health break. I mean, especially after a day like today. Yeah, definitely needed it after, uh, after the incident uh, in uh, on the roads today. It was uh, pretty crazy. I'm glad I'm alive. I'm glad that my truck didn't get smoked. <laughs> That's for sure. It, it got it, it it got lightly rubbed. That was it. Just lightly rubbed. So, like I said, there, there's like just barely this white little tiny line on the side of the the driver's side front fender. Just just barely. And it, you know how I have a 2001 Dodge, right? So it's it's very curvy, I guess you could say. So instead of being absolutely just dead flat line curvy, there's just just like just a little tiny little finger little bump into the side of it so yeah oh the tow truck driver he felt so bad he was like oh jesus i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but there was nothing that he could do the whole truck went sideways right so what happened was is the the ford that got sideswiped its back axle the back tire got busted off right so the guy had to drag that onto the flat deck so i had to wait for two flat decks and uh then the last the flat deck he ends up giving me the uh he, he put the, the strap around underneath my front axles there and just towed me up just he drove forward with his truck and pulled me up so but as he was putting the white pickup onto his truck it ended up the, the pickup truck slid just boink, just lightly tapped me uh if you must pick would it be a wild horse or leader of a wolf pack huh ah uh, i don't know that's a good question because I've always been the type of person to think for myself, so I wouldn't say that I'm a leader, but I wouldn't say that I'm a loner. Um, I'd rather educate and work together in cooperation than ever be a loner, that's for sure. So yeah, yeah that's, 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 I'd have to take option C on that one. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just who I am, you know, just. I'd rather, you know, everybody work together and, you know, let's all get along type of ideal, you know, educate as much as I can with the knowledge that I've gained over time. Because if I think something's fishy, I do deep dives into it. And it got me into a lot of trouble as a kid because what they teach in school is not 100% reality. For example, we may have 110 volt sockets that come into our house. But we don't have 110 volts that come in as the power source. I mean, it leaves at about 126, 120, I think it's like 126, 129, something like that. It leaves from the power plant before it gets to your home because it has the resistance. It loses a lot of electrons in the heat. You know, so I point that out to my teacher. She's like, no, everything's 110. I'm like, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. I'm like, up yours lady so then i go out and i go grab the uh what do they call the caretakers the custodians the school custodians now i think they're called um so i went and got you know the janitor you know i was like hey you know i got a problem with this do you want to get your voltmeter type of thing and he's like yeah sure not a problem he brings the voltmeter in there and she's like what's this i'm like i just need you to test the socket and he's, he's like yeah sure okay so he goes over text the socket and I'm like, what's what's the voltage coming into it right now? And he's like, oh, it's good. It's at 112.3. And I looked over at the teacher. I'm like, now are you going to tell me that, you know, this test is wrong? Because there is not a single box that says, it says, do you get it at 100 volts? Do you get it at 105 volts, 110 volts? And it's like, it didn't give any of the proper answers. None. And I just, I lost it. And of course, you know, Guess where they're, you know, down to the office, gargoyle, you know, blah, 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 you're a disruption to class, blah, 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 blah. And then, of course, you get down there, and I'm explaining this to the principal. The principal's laughing his ass off, going, he's like, I understand, you are smarter than your teacher, but the teacher has to teach you from the book of what they're supposed to teach. And I was like, you mean that she can't give bonus marks because students know more than what the book is that she knows? And from that day forward, I understood that teachers are just babysitters. That's all they are. They are not there to help you learn. If you want to learn, you got to do it on your own. You cannot trust a teacher at all. Like prime example, my son, 
at his school that he's at now. I asked her teacher. I was like, oh, hey, you know, like, you guys still teach cursive writing? Oh, no, we don't teach. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah. Everybody still there? My PC is not liking it. <laughs> Game crashed. Again. One second here. Get everything hooked up. Oh, come on. Pop the chat out. Let's see. Yep, we're still there. Okay, perfect. Yep. Just everything went blank on my screens. It's like, oh, man, come on. All right, let's see how far back this takes us. Grr. <laughs> I should say it more often. Yeah, exactly. You bring, you know, just one rattlesnake to class and you're labeled as a disruptor for life. Yeah. Yeah, most say it's, yeah, exactly. But most say 110 to 120 volts. Now they do, but they sure as hell didn't in the 80s. They were, you know, no, they were not like that at all. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we got all the other ones done. All right, let's just uh, throw another save up. Woohoo! Water. Food. Okay, uh, I'll grab food. Come on, grab food. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, man, I already got to do all the cobalt and the flipping snippin' snabby snibber snibbers. All right. I hope that that gets fixed up sooner than later. Oops, I can't do that. I gotta go up here. Uh, yeah, but yeah, no, if you want, if you want an education now, folks, you gotta go out there and you gotta learn yourself. Find out what it is that the teachers are trying to teach and go out and do your extra homework and everything else. I mean, you know, don't disrupt your class or anything else by, you know, trying to prove that you're right because you more than likely are right. It's just the teacher doesn't know it. The teacher does not have your your instinct to go out there. They they read books. That's all they do. They just look at books. Oops. Wrong place. They just look at the books. This is what they're supposed to teach. So that's what they teach. They don't know what you might know. They have no idea. They can't comprehend what you might know. Yeah, I, like I said, you know, I asked my kid's teacher is like, oh, you know, so you, you, okay, you know, you teach cursive writing. They're like, oh, no, we don't teach that anymore. I'm like, okay, but in order to sign any legal document, you have to have a signature. So in order to have a signature, it has to be done in cursive. You cannot print to have a signature. And what do you get? Oh, I, I, well, yeah, I, I guess I never thought of that. Okay, well, what are you teaching my son in place of cursive writing then? Um, well, I don't know. I've never taught the cursive writing before, so I don't know what they replaced it with. Okay, well, please go through, you know, what what is it that you're teaching my son? So she goes through, you know, this, this you know, the math, the science, you know, uh, that type stuff. I'm like, okay. And, and she goes, oh, and First Nations culture. So First Nations culture has replaced cursive writing here. So my son does not have the right to sign anything legally in his lifetime. But he knows about First Nations culture now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want my teachers docked in pay. <laughs> <laughs> because cursive writing not only gives you the ability to sign legal documents but it also gives you uh, uh, it also teaches you hand-eye coordination at the same time so kids these days are going to have more black eyes for when they go out and start playing baseball and other sports because they can't catch I mean, it's almost to the point now where it should be mandatory that kids play video games so they have hand-eye coordination lessons. <laughs> yeah. No, I am... Uh, I will be pushing for when my son gets a little bit older here. I will be pushing to try to get him into after-school programs where he can learn how to write cursively and everything else.
Oh, could be, Jack. Could be, could be. We've had... I've been watching my, my kilobytes being pushed out to you folks, and it's been bouncing from as low as 6,000 kilobytes upwards of 12,000 kilobytes per second. So that could very well be it. You know, Canada could be under uh, a cyber attack. I, I'm not worried about the Russians. The, 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 all the people who knew how to hack in Russia, they got the F out of there. Now, this is probably uh, Chinese uh, origins and stuff like that. Not that, you know, I blame them. You know, you'd be told, you know, here, you do this or your whole family dies. I quite understand. <laughs> you know, they'd be doing it. Iranian? Uh, could be. Could be. Yeah, no, you know, like, once again, all these cultures where it's like, you do this or you die. You know? So, yeah, I, I can't fault the people that do it. Yeah. What I can fault are those scam artists that come out of India. Oh my god, I love it. Every time they call, I jerk their chain around so bloody much. Oh, absolutely. And then at the very end of it, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, I've also posted your number on Media Trilogy. So yeah, enjoy this number being burnt. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, did I forget to mention that I'm also making money off you at the same time right now? What? <laughs> yeah, I'm broadcasting you on YouTube. Uh, but I'm gonna click. <laughs> like yeah i hope that whole day of calls are like that for these people i do i hope that's what happens to them all the time you know people push back you know just drag their heels and then you know just burn their numbers you must pick a wild horse leader or be a male goat on the farm eat and breed with female goats and sleep well i've never been around goats um except for a nubian goat been around a Nubian goat before. Their eyes are like really freaky. And my eyes are kind of freaky. So I'd probably go with the goat. But not because of mating with females or anything else. That's just a perk of the job, I guess. But <laughs> uh, but that wouldn't be my main reason for it. No. Definitely not. No. I mean, quite honestly, yeah. I'd rather be, you know, a ranch hand that, you know, takes care of all the animals. Make sure that, you know, horse's feet and uh, cow's feet are all well trimmed and everything else so that way you know they don't have any walking problems or you know no no lameness you know type of thing especially in like milk cattle and things like that right yeah never want another animal to feel any pain so wasabi hey Devin, how you doing neighbor i do apologize i did not do your front of the sidewalk uh i had a rough day today dude really rough i <laughs> uh, went to the dentist to start off with um to get my splint replaced i have a tmj splint for my um i have electrical buzzing in my ear and uh so that didn't fit my replacement one did not fit not in the slightest so then I went to Costco and then Walmart and I got shoved into a snowbank in with my truck because one of the ladies decided to uh, uh, go the wrong direction on a roundabout. Yeah, uh, so over at East Hills there. Yeah, I was uh, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go out this way because, you know, there's just less traffic over here. Be safer. Yeah, I should have known better. So, yeah, she ended up coming at me. I went I went for the snowbank. I drove my truck into the snowbank. And then she just, just, just missed me, man. Just missed me. Sideswiped into a Ford F-150. Uh, busted up his uh, tire off his axle. And then drove into a Lexus head-on. Which then she then pool banked that into one of the light posts that were there. So there's no longer a light post there. Uh, it was a rough day, man. Rough day. So I was hoping to start streaming at 5 o'clock. I didn't get to start streaming until 7 just because of that. That was just crazy, dude. Uh, thank you, spider -Ed. Yeah, no, I'm... I know how to drive. I know what to do in most cer certain situations. I, I taught class one people, you know, so... I, I, I will toot my horn when it comes down to driving. I've never been in an accident that's been my fault. I have avoided many accidents. Many, many, many accidents in my lifetime. And uh, I've never had to worry about stuff like that. Well, yeah, exactly, Devin. But, okay, so this is a lady, foreign lady. She didn't speak hardly any English. Um, I did overhear the one police officer saying, yeah, well, 
your Malaysian driver's license doesn't give you the right to drive here in Canada. So apparently she was visiting a friend and decided that she was going to take her friend's car and go driving. So I'm not even sure. Is the Malaysia drive on the left-hand side of the road? I, I don't know. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so she came through the roundabout in the wrong direction. It's not a two-way roundabout there, right? It's a one-way. Yeah. And she just... It would have been a head-on, dude. It would have absolutely been a head-on. But I just... Yeah! <laughs> off to the side. Yeah. Yeah, offensive driving. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so it was it was a day. It was a day. And so yeah, I went out there. I got the, the front end of uh, my yard done. Um, I went and got some fuel. Because, uh, what is it? Tomorrow I got to go downtown. Or not, well, almost downtown. I got my neurologist appointment tomorrow. So uh, once again, folks, my stream may be a little bit later tomorrow than 1.15. I'll try not to. Uh, so let's put it in Eastern Standard Time. Um, normally I start around 3.15 but uh, maybe it'll probably be like maybe 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, yeah, her friend is definitely hooped. Yeah, it cost me 75 bucks for the tow. But I mean, it was just, just, just for the guy to put the strap uh, around my two axles or around the, my front axles and pull cost me 75 bucks. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. So, and I had to do the witness forms over in the kitchen there. So I had to do a witness statement. Uh, with the police, <laughs> get my truck pulled out, pay $75, but the white pickup truck had to get flat decked, the Lexus had to get flat decked, and that red Corolla that caused all the incident had to get flat decked as well. So, And I had to, even though I was the first one to avoid everything, I was the last one out of the entire accident to get pulled out because all the other vehicles were blocking that entire roundabout around, whereas I was pushed off to the side. So, yeah. Yeah, someone else is up and you pay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, because she's visiting from another country with using her friend's car that's here. Now, her friend's car is insured, but I don't know if she has that third party collision liability or maybe she has to say that the car was stolen in order to get that. I don't know. Yeah, no, just the cop just he just looks over at me. And he's like, I am so sorry, dude. And he's like, he's like, yeah, it, it, like so the tow truck didn't charge me for anything other than uh, called a connection fee. That was it. Uh, that was I just only got the connection fee. Or be a male dog. Uh, yeah, I guess leader of a wolf pack then. But yeah, no, the yeah the cop was was really nice. Um, his partner stayed inside the vehicle because she was taking, um, she was doing all the coordinating for getting the tow trucks and everything else. It took them two hours just to get there to us. It was, it was just a day. It was a day. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> After I'm done stream here, I'm probably going to cook myself a pizza. <laughs> I'll probably make a pizza. Yeah, no, you know, like the guy, the, the tow truck driver said, like, normally just to pull somebody out of a snowbank would cost like around 210 bucks or something like that with the taxes and all that. But he's like, I'm just going to give you the connection fee, dude. And they're like, all right. And he's like, you got debit? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, perfect. So then I just, you know, threw in the debit card and ran off 75 bucks. He's like, okay. Yeah. He's like, not a problem. But I think he also did that because when he was grabbing the white um, Ford to pull up onto the flat deck, the Ford slid and just, just barely, just, just barely rubbed up against the side of the, my front driver's side fender. So I got a little tiny, like just a little itty bitty dent and a tiny light little scratch. Like, I mean, if I go uh, 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 and rub real hard, I bet you I could take the white paint off of it. There's just, there's like no damage whatsoever, really, you know, so I'm not too worried about it. And he felt like an absolute shit, as he put it. <laughs> He's like, I feel like an absolute shit. I'm like, ah, don't worry, man. But you know what, folks? I think I think what I'll do here is I'll end things off here just because it seems to be that these rockets and everything else have been causing some of the games to crash and things like that with me right now. We have been live for about an hour and 15 minutes, so a little bit of a way to end things off. I would have liked to have, um, you know, launched another 50 rockets here uh, to get us up to about 80 and that, but I can do all that stuff off screen. Uh, we'll put Planet Crafter to bed here for a while until the next update comes through. Oh, shark. Oh, definitely a shark. Wouldn't matter male or female. Don't care. Sharks are amazing. 
amazing, beautiful creatures. They are the underwater submarine slash airplane of the oceans. Love them. So, yeah. Uh, I, I will say this, though. Thank you very much, every single last one of you folks, for being here today. You all are awesome and amazing. I do hope that you have yourself a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, good night. Special huge shout-out thank you to all the members of the channels, Eba, Shane, Indigo, William, Karsten, Spider at Little Mac, Devin, Any64, Sam, Jack, Bob, Lean Dirt, and Lone Crocodile. Thank you very, very much, all of you. You're all amazing and awesome people. Jeremy, I didn't get a chance to say hello to you yet, so I'll say hello. <laughs> I hope that you are staying safe at your home today with all the way the the ice and snow and everything else are on the roads there. But, uh, oh my God, run down the side of your truck going down the highway once. Jeez. Oh, wow, dude. Yowch. Yowch. I'm glad that you're okay and that you didn't get thrown into the ditch and roll your truck because that's pretty deadly, man. But yeah, you guys are all awesome and thank you so much. I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. Like I said, I could be anywhere from uh, 45 minutes to an hour late. Might even be longer just depending on the way traffic is tomorrow. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to try calling in in the morning and just saying, hey, the roads are real crappy. I was in an incident yesterday. Is there any way we can do this over the phone? That'd be fantastic. Then I won't be late. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. So you guys are all awesome and amazing. Like I said, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, everyone. Take care. Peace.